Hi. It's a very moody, cloudy day today and that kind of represents how I'm feeling. <laughs> it's very cold and rainy. Lately, I was not feeling the most comfortable in my body and I'm not sure why. I think it's because I wasn't able to go to my sports classes as I usually go and the more I do regular exercise, the less I feel shitty in my body for some reason. I thought today we can just hang out. And also my hair has not been cooperating as per usual. I met up with a friend from uni um, who also has curly hair and we kind of talked about our routines and shared our little tips and tricks which was really nice because I usually don't have someone I can nerd out about curly hair care like that so I'm motivated to cut my hair and just bring some life back into not only my curls but my my body I guess <laughs> so I thought I'm just gonna take you along with me we need to take care of this weird situation that's happening here and with me, I have my hot water bottle because that gives me comfort. You are sitting on my coconut oil, which I would need normally now, but you're sitting on it, so you can stay there. I do not know how often people clean their hairbrush. I feel like I don't do it enough. So much hair everywhere. I normally use my coconut oil to pre-treat my scalp. Step one of cutting my hair is having clean hair and my hair is not clean so I'm just taking some oil kind of separating my hair <sighs> if you're not sure if you have curly hair but your hair looks like this after you brushed it if you're wondering why it's poofy and big, I think you have curly hair. <laughs> okay. Ready. Everything you need, a comb, scissors, spray bottle, and an assortment of clips and hair ties and patience. And this one. <laughs> and a mirror. And another clip. And another clip. And another clip. First we want to detangle the hair. I don't think I have that much time. We'll see how much it can do. Also pro tip, if you know that you're gonna brush your hair a lot, just put in some leave-in conditioner. Make sure everything is always detangled. Oh my god, I look like a completely different person. Who is she? Okay, first of all, find your exact part. I think we're gonna do it a bit differently today. We're gonna take the front sections. Don't want it to be too heavy. Parting my hair from here until here because that's sort of my front bangs. I've been cutting my hair since Yay! So I've been cutting my hair since I am um, since a long time because haircuts are so ridiculously expensive they are so expensive as a teenager I was like in this crazy scene girl emo scene kind of vibes obviously I would do my hair all alone at home I hope it's straight I really hope it's straight you part your hair in the middle like that. Take a picture. Yeah, it's not optimal. We'll take it. I saw this new haircut by Mains by Mel, and she's doing a double ponytail, unicorn, double corn, 
corn. It's cold. Ponytail unicorn kind of thing. I used to normally do only the one, but I figured let's try the new thing. So she says, don't put it too high, put it in the middle, put it behind your ear, don't put it too far to the front, like this, I assume. I feel like I never finished my story before. Did I? Did I finish my story before? I think we're cutting like this much off. This is like the technique to kind of make it less bulky. I feel like I always do it wrong, but it's okay. Take a reference here, put it there for length. <laughs> okay. And then we can do the front part. I don't really want to cut my front part because I kind of want to grow it out. I'm going to wing it in my own way. Okay, whatever. We're just going to cut it a tiny bit. Kind of the not as strong triangle cut. I'm gonna go down here. And that's it. And now we just gotta style it. I feel like I didn't talk about anything right now. <laughs> so, uh, can you tell that I'm very not... Um, very not talkative, in a talkative mood right now. 